Well, good morning, friends, and welcome. Uh, this is Homemaking on the Homestead. I'm Crystal, and uh, this is my little uh, weekly chatty sit down and, and uh, talk about various different subjects with you. So grab your cup of coffee and let's have, have a little chat. So this morning I have uh, nobody at home. So I thought, hey, okay, I'm not gonna be interrupted by noise and all those kind of things. And so I thought I would just come and sit right outside here on my uh, porch, uh, right off my deck and uh, uh, just have my little coffee with Crystal this morning with you that way. It's still kind of early and it seems like, I'll have to show you a, a view off my deck here. Uh, it seems like it is an overcast day, but it really, in reality, it is not so much that as it is uh, smoke from all the forest fires going on around us. So there's a big, big one burning up in northeast Washington, and we're getting a lot of the smoke. Yesterday was so smoky, you couldn't even see across the river. You couldn't see the mountains on the other side. It was it was not it was bad, uh, and the the fires up there. I think there's three burning that are just terrible. They, oh, it's it's not been a good season. Plus, down in Oregon, uh, because we're not too far from Oregon, there's another two or three burning, and depending on which way the winds are blowing, we end up with smoke in the skies. So, you know, I'm praying for um, some rain and better temperatures, and just uh, the safety of everybody to get through this year's fire season. It's uh, it's always a difficult time here uh, when you when we get towards the end of summer everything is so dry and the fire danger just goes through the roof some years some years not as much but the last few years for sure so because of all that smoke in the sky it's kind of blocking the sun and we're not getting as warm like it should have been probably an 80 90 degree day and I walked outside earlier and I was like oh I think I'm gonna put a sweater on it's a little cool now as I sit here though I'm like warming up so who knows <laughs> it's like right right at that spot where you don't know do I take the sweater off or do I put it on but anyway okay so today I had a few things to to share with you and I thought it would be um, you know kind of fun to uh, just have a little chat this morning and of course first thing I always ask everybody is what are you having for dinner I would really like uh, you know to for you to share that in the comments it's great inspiration I know I've used so many of your ideas and I think it's blessed other women as well as you come and look and see what everybody is having for dinner and gives you some new inspiration for cooking so make sure you tell me down in the comments below what are you having for dinner tonight my plan is right now I'm kind Kind of undecided depending on how my morning goes and other things going on I'm either going to take out one of my crock pot meals um, one of the chicken ones I'm thinking the uh, the Dijon honey chicken and get that going in the crock pot I still have time to be able to get that cooking or I'm gonna open a jar of my um, Italian beef my home canned Italian beef and turn that into Italian beef on toasted hamburger buns salad you know something simple like that we'll see haven't haven't quite made that decision yet so speaking of crock pot meals i just wanted to got, let you guys know so last tuesday's video was on the four different beef crock pot meals and i said oh i hadn't made them yet well i've made one of them since then i made the mongolian beef and it was absolutely fantastic so if you like asian food i think you'll like it if I had to do something more I would probably add more of the red peppers just to t uh, spice it up a little bit more but that's because we like spicy food so you know I served that with some uh, rice and what did I for vegetables I think I just had some sliced um, cucumbers and tomatoes and it was just delicious we ended up having that for a couple nights in fact I know in a previous video I had a whole a bunch of zucchini recipes and zucchini ideas to share with you and I have one more because I made it this last week uh, and it was a double chocolate zucchini bread I will leave the link in the in the description box below so that you can check it out but I'm telling you this bread is moist and absolutely fantastic we have so enjoyed it I got the recipe from the website Sally's baking Addic addiction I love her site if there's any new recipe I want to try baked goods yeast whatever I always go to her site first to see what she has so uh, highly recommended 
website and a highly recommended recipe if you're still wondering what to do with that zucchini. I also got the idea from, uh, I think it was Des who made a uh, zucchini soup with some other vegetables and things like that. And I remembered that I had a recipe for zucchini chowder. So I kind of combined the two, e the, the two ideas the other day and I just sauteed up uh, what vegetables I had in the refrigerator and added uh, a bunch of grated zucchini, I, or chopped up zucchini, excuse me, and I just took whatever I had left and threw that into the pot with it at the very end, cooked it in some chicken broth that I had made uh, from a rotisserie chicken a few days prior, and that was, it was so good. Oh, and then I added milk at the end and threw in some cheese to kind of make it more uh, cheesy chowdery like. And, oh, and I had a <laughs> keep. Oh, 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 I keep forgetting all the things I added to it. Uh, that's what happens when you don't follow a recipe. But I had a, about a half a pound of cooked uh, sausage in the freezer and I dumped that in there too just for a little extra flavor. And oh my goodness, that was delicious. So we had that for two nights and I had some to be able to put away in the freezer for a future date. So that was just perfect. Okay, now I'm warming up, so I take the sweater off. <laughs> so hopefully uh, cool breezes don't start blowing. But anyway, so those are a couple more ideas in case you uh, need some more zucchini ideas. The other thing I wanted to share this morning in our little chat was a, a frugal idea, a frugal tip. And it was something that one of you ladies had shared with me. And I was just so... It was so like eye-opening to me and what a great little saying to remember. And I also thought, you know, it'd be great on my coffee with crystals. I always try to post those on Friday. So, you know, maybe the frugal tip Friday or Friday's frugal tip or something like that. So whenever you are, if you're trying to decide, this is the case that I had in last week's video, I'm trying to decide is is this worth keeping? Like, is it going to, you know, am I going to use it in the future? Uh, should I just save it just in case? Uh, and uh, one of the, and so I asked you ladies, you know, well, what is your, what, what is your, where do you draw the line on that? Like, what do you save in order to hopefully be frugal in the future? Or what do you decide is not worth saving? How do you make that decision? And one of you ladies said, the main question that you need to ask yourself is, will this serve me or will I serve it? Ha! Huh. I, I was like, what a great picture. So, you know, either the item that you are clearing out, do I hang on to this? Do I not hang on to this? Ask yourself, will this serve me? Or do I serve it? Will I have to serve it by storing it and keeping it clean and dealing with it when I'm maybe going through things or moving things around? Or, you know, is it just going to be something that sits there and, uh, re and takes up space? Or is it actually going to be something that serves me? And it, that tip came in so handy. My daughter's been going through a whole bunch of things and uh, that which is another story, but I'll, and I'll, I'll tell you that in another video. But she was going through a whole bunch of things and, and there were so many things that had value. And I, I just said that to her, she was getting overwhelmed. Do I keep this? I mean, it has value. Do I actually need it? I don't know. And so I gave her, your, I gave her that tip. I said, well, does it serve you? If it serves you, and then keep it. If you are going to be serving it, it's time for it to go. And that was very helpful to her and she was able to make a whole lot of decisions a lot easier with that. So thank you so much for sharing that. You guys are amazing. I love it. I love all your feedback. I, I love your wisdom that you share. You just are, you make my day when I read your comments and, uh, and all the little tidbits and things that you share. It's very appreciated by me. I've got yellow jackets everywhere, so I'm hoping I can get through this. But Okay, so I've shared this book in the past with you guys. It's called Love the Life You Have, 100 Ways to Embrace God's Goodness. Okay, this has been a great book. It's got 100 little tips. Uh, like I said, I've already reviewed it, so I'm not going to do that. But I wanted to share something out of this book today with you. Uh, this is from tip number 62 or of the 100 ways this is 62 it's called master self-discipline now in general in the book they're talking about your life overall I wanted to hone in on this concept with homemaking you know homemaking is one of those things where uh, 
it's not like going to a job where you arrive at work, you have your function, you do your function, and then you come home. Uh, you, it isn't a matter of whether you're motivated to do it or not. You have a job that needs to be done and you do it. When you're at home, you are your own master. You are your own director. You're the one that has to say this needs to get done, that needs to be done, get done, and here's my list for today. And sometimes it's very difficult if you're not feeling motivated and you, you just don't know where to go or what to do. And so sometimes it can leave you feeling unmotivated or lacking motivation and then you just don't know what, what direction to go sometimes. And so I really enjoyed this um, this little section in the book and of course I should say too that the whole book deals with contentment and um, and loving the life that you have and get, and getting contentment from that um, she started out by giving a quote from Abraham Lincoln saying discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want most and I really like that, you know, so sometimes what you want now is just to go sit on the couch and just ignore the mess. But what you want most is that mess to be cleaned up, right? So I thought that was a great little uh, um, quote from Abraham Lincoln. And then she went on to say, contentment comes when you overcome temptation and get what you really want most. So that is where the self-discipline comes in, that we have, to, that it's not, we can't always be expecting that we're going to work off of motivation. At times we just have to be self-disciplined because this needs to be done and we've got to get we've got to get at it she then goes on to give five little tips and I'm just gonna briefly cover I don't know if I'll cover them all but um, number one was recognize your triggers and avoid them so you know if you find like your phone is, is, a, is a problem for you if you get on your phone and then you end up scrolling playing a game visiting social media or doing something like that and then you realize oh my goodness look how much time I just spent on that instead of that put your phone away turn it off or something like that and I know I've talked about that in the past too that sometimes I just have to set it aside turn off my notifications so that it does not tempt me to go and grab it and then I'm off on another path rather than doing the things that I had originally wanted to do the most know your weaknesses and again you know there's a lot of weaknesses in homemaking that um, Maybe it's that good book you're reading. Once again, maybe it's the phone. Who knows? You know, you just have to know them and be able to work around them. So actually, I think that's kind of similar to number one. Uh, number three is to ask for help. I think that oftentimes if you are dealing with being overwhelmed or uh, just lacking that motivation, ask other people, you know, what do you do in a situation like this? Also, I think it's good to, uh, you know, to always be looking for motivation. So a good book on homemaking, a, you know, a good planner that gets you excited, uh, good YouTube channels that can help motivate you. I think those are all great things to do uh, to help you get that motivation. But at some point for all of us, it's, it, you have to put the self-discipline there, but it, there's nothing wrong in finding help uh, to help with that motivation aspect. And the last one she had was arm yourself with prayers and quotes and affirmations and things like that uh, you know maybe put a, a Bible verse on your refrigerator I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me or you know something that gives you that that little nudge that says that's right I need to get you know this is the direction I need to go today and just remember that at those times some, those things are um, it's, it's a matter of self-discipline and I think once we sometimes take that step do start doing what we need to do the motivation comes at that point i love uh, audiobooks and podcasts and so that is one of my biggest things that i do as a self-discipline slash motivation if i am really feeling like i'm just not motivated today to take care of whatever it is that's in front of me well I tell myself, hey, I'm going to put on my audiobook, I'm going to put on my, my podcast, and I start listening to that, and all of a sudden, I'm, you know, I take that first step, I get going, and then I'm not even thinking about it anymore. So, or I'm not thinking about my lack of motivation anymore, but 
but you know, I'm just getting my job done like I need to do. All right, ladies, I think that wraps up today's Coffee with Crystal. I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found something uh, inspirational or encouraging or motivational or anything like that. Uh, if you have anything you want to add to any of that, give me your motivational tips, your, uh, you know, any of your... Um, dinner ideas anything you've got going on right now at home are you canning or how's your garden doing I, I love to hear all of it and I love to get to know you all even more I hope that you have an awesome and blessed day and weekend and I will see you all in my next video bye bye <laughs>